get a strap or a scarf or something, something long, longish. Sorry, I should have asked you that before. So if you can do that, and I will look around to see if I can find something. Ah, here we go. Well, this isn't really gonna. Eh. Something longish. Okay, so now I have to find something. <laughs> Oh my God. You know, we kind of just make do what, what, with what we have. So like I have a dog's leash and a slipper. <laughs> And that's what makes yoga so accessible is just you use what you have. So whatever you need, whatever. We're just going to be do, using it on, on our legs. So hopefully it's a little, it's long enough to do that. You can keep your knee bent. And um, we're going to be using it on, in our, our, around our arms. <laughs> okay. So we can put those down for now. And we'll just get centered. Okay. So... Make sure you're totally in the middle of your chair and kind of on the, towards the front of your chair so that your knees are about 90 degrees and root your feet down, making sure that your knees and, oh, yay. Hi. <laughs> Just popped in. Good. Okay. So you're going to need a, um, something like a strap or something. I'm using a dog leash and a slipper. So just something that you can use um, to do some stretching. Okay, and then we're going to just get ourselves situated on our chairs. And just resting our hands down. So facing, palms facing downward, so we're having a little bit more of a grounding sensation. And I will begin again by saying good morning, everybody, to our last practice. Okay, so just settle yourself here, wiggle around, wiggle around wherever you need to, and then go ahead and close your eyes when you feel settled. And then begin to just notice the space that you're in. It's interesting, every time that we do this, even though we might be in the same space, we notice different things. Well, different things might be happening as well. So depending on the weather, the air might feel different. Different sounds might be coming out. And we ourselves are different. The feeling be happy underneath our hands is gonna feel different depending on the clothes that you have on. And you might actually be even on, sitting on a different chair. You might, you might not. So just notice. So just bringing yourself to your center. And some people feel that the, the heart is the center. And in a way it is. So going towards the heart, going towards the place that feels like home, I guess. And then when you've noticed as much as you want to around you, then you can bring your intention inwards and start doing a little, a little mindful, little scan through your body physically noticing how you're starting out your day in your muscles in your joints in your ligaments perhaps in some of your organs if you can assess them a little bit noticing what kind of thoughts are moving around up in your head And remember, we're not labeling anything as good or bad. We're just, we're just noticing what is coming up and how everything is feeling. And again, not good or bad. It's just feeling. There's just a sensation there. There's a thought there. 
and they move through us. And then when you're ready, become aware of your breath, noticing how your breath is today. So watch your breath for a couple of cycles. And then whenever you feel ready, start to count your breath. Don't get too, <laughs> don't get too caught up with it. Don't get too anxious about counting your breath. And it doesn't, you can just count it how you want to count it. So just notice how long it takes you to breathe in and how long it takes you to breathe out. There's no wrong way to do this. And then just noticing the difference between the inhale and the exhale. And then when you feel ready with every breath, next the next maybe three or four breaths, you're just going to add one more count on to that exhale. So you shouldn't be struggling with this. It shouldn't be a struggle. It should be pretty easy. So you should find some what ease at doing this. If it feels like you're struggling, then just stay where you are. So once you've done about three or four cycles about adding on one more count to the exhale, See if you can just stay there for a few moments. I'm just noticing how that feels in your body. And then see if you can add a little pause between the inhale and the exhale. Not for very long, maybe just one count, maybe two counts. We'll do that for a couple of breaths. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. We're just breathing, controlling the breath just a little bit. Now let's do that one more time. One more breath like that. And then just bring yourself back to an easy breath and take a notice. Okay. And on your next breath, we're going to bring the arms in front of us, wiggle the fingers, and then open up the fingers and open up the chest. Open up as wide as you can. And then exhale, bring the arms back together and just round out your body. So we're gonna do a little, like a little cow and cat. We're just gonna keep on adding on to this. Open up the chest, let's lift up the chin this time. Exhale, round out and bring the chin down. Do this a couple, few more times. Going as slow as you like, not too quick. But just going at your own pace. So the next time we come back, let's squeeze the hands, squeeze the hands together, like make little fists. Inhale, spread out the fingers. Exhale, bring your hands together, squeeze the hands. Inhale, as we open the fingers, let's wiggle them around. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, squeeze the hands. And inhale, open up, wiggle the fingers. 
and exhale, bring the arms down. Yes, bring the arms down, take a moment here. Let's do some shoulder shrugs. So alternating one shoulder back and then the other shoulder back. One shoulder and the other shoulder. Paying attention to the sliding down the back of that shoulder blade. See if you can notice that. One more time on each side. And then bring your arms out and give yourself a hug. Right arm on top, give yourself a hug. Try to reach towards those shoulder blades. Don't force it though. And then just drop the chin into your, into your arms. And then on your next inhalation, open up the arms again. Left arm comes on top. Give yourself a hug and bring that chin down. Inhale, open up the arms again and then lift them all the way up. Reach up, grow as tall as you can, root down through your feet. And then exhale, bring the arms all the way down. And then we're gonna grab hold of our strap. Strap or our sock or our slipper, whatever you got. <laughs> I've got a big slipper right now. Okay, so we're gonna hold on to it just with gentle fists and making sure that your wrist is in line with your shoulders, okay? So we don't want, the, we don't want to be out here, we want to be right in line, okay? So we're going to rest that on our thighs, sit up nice and tall, and then inhale, lift those arms up with your strap or your slipper or whatever you got right now. Reach up as high as you can, maybe going back a little bit, and then Exhale, bring it all the way back down, nice and slow. And do that two more times. Inhale, lift up. Notice if your shoulders are lifting up at the same time. Try not to. Maybe you need to bend your elbows like me a little bit, just so those shoulders don't lift up. And then exhale, bring it all the way back down. And one more time. Inhale, lift up. Notice how quick you lift it up compared to how quick you bring it down. Maybe they're the same, maybe they're different, maybe count, maybe not, it's up to you. And bring it all the way down. Good, hold it here, just wiggle yourself around. Okay, let's bring the arms back up again. We're gonna keep them up here. So bend into the elbows a little bit. We're gonna do a little side bend here. So try to pull, resist, so pull the strap away from you. So the arms are reaching away. You're gonna feel some things happening in your, maybe your shoulders or your upper back. Hold it here. And then we're gonna bend over towards the right side. Don't fall off your chair, just go as far as you can. And then inhale, lift back up. And we'll go the other direction, over towards the left side. Keep both buttock cheeks on the, on the chair. Inhale to lift up. And then exhale, bring the arms all the way down. And then take a moment here. We're gonna do that one more time. Root down through your feet. Inhale, lift your arms all the way up. Hold it here, resist, try to pull the strap away. And then over towards the right side. Side bend. Inhale to lift. And side bend over towards the other side. Inhale to lift, and then bring those arms all the way back down. And again, just be, be aware, notice. Okay, so we're gonna do a little twist this time. So bring the arms all the way back up again. Resist, soften through the shoulders and through the face. Try to pull away, the hands are reaching away from each other. Okay, on your next breath, take a breath in here and exhale, we're gonna twist towards the right side. Only go as far as you can, don't, don't uh, force it. Inhale, come back to center and exhale, twist the opposite direction. Inhale, come back up to center and then exhale, lower the arms all the way down. Not, not much motion, not much doing anything, but boy, do, do we feel this? Yes. Totally. One more time, inhale, reach up. Elbows are soft. 
pull the strap away from the hands away from each other soften through the shoulders and the face pull up through the sides of your body take a breath in here as you exhale twist towards the right side let every all the air out and then inhale come back to center exhale over towards that other side letting all the air out and then inhale come back to center and exhale the arms all the way down and release that strap and let's just shake out the arms shake 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 good okay i think we're going to give our arms a little bit of a break for a moment okay so just rest the strap either down on the ground or on your lap either or okay okay so just relax the hands relax the arms take a moment here just to notice you might feel a lot of sensations going through the body all the way down into the hips more than likely okay so then we're going to just play around with the buttocks a little bit so let's squeeze those buttocks as tight as we possibly can and then release them and then do that one more time squeeze and release and then we're going to squeeze and we're going to hold it there squeeze and just hold keep breathing keep rooting down through your feet soften through your upper body release the right cheek right cheek releases and then squeeze back into that right cheek and release the left cheek squeeze the left cheek release the right cheek squeeze the right cheek and release the left cheek squeeze both cheeks and release both hold it there take a moment okay let's widen our feet a little bit bring our hands onto our knees and we're going to do some circles in the body okay let's start little tiny circles to begin with we're going to go well you can go clockwise or counterclockwise it doesn't matter we're doing both sides so little tiny circles to begin with you decide which way you're gonna go little circles and then with every every time you go around it's going to get a little bit bigger 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 Playing around with those edges. Try to keep the body as upright as possible. So in other words, try not to hump over. So try to keep that spine lengthened. And get in those circles as big as you can now without falling off the chair. Your feet are gonna help you stay stable. And once you're as big as you can go, going in this direction, then you're gonna start to change directions. And in this new direction, every circle is just going to become a little bit smaller. Try to keep your neck in line with your spine. Keep breathing, keep noticing. And they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So we're tiny little circles. Little tiny circles. We're almost barely even moving now, maybe. And then become still. And just take a moment here. Notice what you notice. 
you might feel like a buzzing sensation through your body. Okay, heel toe your feet back in. And then you're gonna pick up your strap or your slipper or whatever you've got. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall, you're gonna root down through the right foot and you're gonna just lift up your left foot. We're just gonna lift it up and down a couple of times just to get that motion in the hip area. It doesn't have to go up very high. Just to get the hip moving a little bit. Okay. And then keep it up there, and then we're going to start to move into the knee. So the knee is just going to open up and close. And the leg doesn't have to be lifted very high. Just so you have some room to move it. Okay, now leave it out a little bit, and the knee can be totally bent, and let's do some ankle circles. Going one direction and the opposite direction. Okay, and then become still. Then you're gonna take your strap or slipper or whatever you got, and you're gonna put it underneath the, your foot, the ball of the foot or the arch of the foot, either, or you're gonna have your knee probably very bent like me. Okay, and we're just gonna bring the heel in to the words of the chair and then lengthen it out. Don't worry if you can't get that leg straight, it doesn't have to. Just bring it in and lengthen out. And depending on how, how long your strap is, you might have a lot more room than I do. Can do that a couple times. You might notice that as you do this, things are starting to loosen up, hopefully. Let's do that one more time. Stretch it out. Good. And then bring it back. Good. And release the strap. And then take that left leg and cross it over. So if you can get that ankle right on top of that thigh, awesome. If it doesn't want to get there, if it wants to just come down here on your ankle or your shin, you can do that too. Either or. Okay. So now I'm just holding on to your knee and your ankle or your foot, or if, if, you're, if you can't get it that way, then it's just on both of your thighs, okay? And we're just gonna hold it here, and we're gonna take a few more twists. So inhale to lengthen, and then exhale, we're gonna twist towards that left side first. So we're gonna go here, and inhale, come back to center, and then exhale, twist in the opposite direction, Inhale, come back to center. Okay, we're gonna go exhale, twist over towards that left side again. Stay here. Soften where you need to soften. So as you inhale, you lengthen. As you exhale, you twist. So as you twist, maybe the head goes a little bit more. You'll know where to stop. And then on the next twist, maybe your eyes go a little bit more. Try to soften through your face and your shoulders. Root down firmly with that right foot in your hips. And on your next inhalation, bring your eyes back, your head back, and your body back. Okay, go to the other side. So inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist, and we're gonna stay here. Hold it here on your next, as you inhale, you lengthen, and as you exhale, you twist maybe a little bit more. So maybe the head goes, maybe the eyes go a little bit more. Again, we're not forcing it. And we're just gonna try to soften where we need to soften. Okay, and on your next inhalation, bring your eyes back, your head back, and your body back. And then let's take that left leg and bring it down. Wiggle your hips around a little bit. And then we're gonna take that left leg and we're gonna reach it back. So we're gonna come over onto the left side of the chair so that our right buttocks is on the chair. We're gonna take that left leg and we're just gonna do a little stretch back, okay? The knees can be bent. You can hold onto the chair if you like. 
okay, maybe on one side or the other side. You can even hold on to the, the railing in the back if you can, okay? And you're just gonna do just a little stretch through that left leg, okay? So it's almost like a high lunge. The knee is gonna, can be bent, that left knee can be bent. And then if you feel like you wanna do a little bit more here, maybe you can bring your arms up. Only if you find you have balance. If you have great balance and you can do this, awesome. Everyone's got great balance. Okay, let's take one more breath here. Good, and then bring the arms down and bring that left leg back and then sit back onto the chair. Good. Okay, get your strap again. We're gonna do the, the other foot. So sitting up nice and tall, and move down through that left leg this time. And we're just gonna start to pick up that right leg. Just bring it up and down, up and down, up and down. Just warming up that right hip. Okay, and then we're gonna start to get into the knee. So just moving the leg out, bending into the knee and releasing it. Try not to lock the knee. The knee, the knee might go as straight as it wants to. It doesn't have to be totally straight. Okay. And then just leave it out there a little bit and then start to do some ankle circles, one direction and the other direction. Okay. And then get your strap or whatever and put it underneath your foot, either the ball of the foot or the arch of the foot. Bring that knee in and then see if you can lengthen it out. And again, you don't have to have the leg go straight. Just do what you can do. Try to sit up as tall as you can. Let's do this two more times if possible. Okay, and then take the strap, put it down, and take your left, right foot and bring it up on top of your thigh. And again, if this side it doesn't work like that, bring it down onto your ankle or around your shin area. Either or, whatever works for you. And then sit up nice and tall. You might feel a little bit of activity in this hip. And just relax that foot, it doesn't have to be. If you want a little bit more activity, Flex the foot and you're gonna feel a little bit more activity in the hip, but you can just relax, relax the foot and sit up nice and tall. Okay, so we're gonna do some twists now. So inhale to lengthen, and then exhale, we're gonna twist over towards that right side. And I think we're gonna stay here. <laughs> we're gonna stay here, hold it here. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to twist. And through every twist, maybe you soften a little bit more. Maybe your head moves a little bit more. Maybe your eyes move a little bit more. Okay, and then on your next inhalation, bring yourself back. Yeah, we'll do the same thing on the other side. So inhale to lengthen. And then exhale to twist over towards that left side. And just soften. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. And maybe the eyes and the head just go a little bit more. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Don't force the twist. And on your next inhalation, Bring yourself all the way back. And then bring that right leg back. And then just shake it off. Shake it off. And then we're gonna move over onto the right side of the chair with that left cheek. And the right leg is gonna go back. So coming into that high lunge again. The knee can be bent, does not have to be straight. And that front leg, just try to, Make sure that the knee and the, the ankle are somewhat in line 
and root down through both feet. So you can hold on to the chair if you like. Soften through your shoulders. And then if you feel like it, you can bring both arms up, coming into that high lunge. And hold it here. This is also stretching out your hip flexor, your psoas, which is right pretty darn close to your adrenal glands. So where your hormones are made and released. Okay, and then bring the arms all the way down. Now it looks like a stray cat has come over into my cat, near my cat enclosure, and they're talking to each other. My, my cats are not happy. Okay, <laughs> bring your feet back, and let's just wiggle a little bit. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay. And then we're going to bring ourselves up. So coming into... Just kind of more on the edge of your seat, bringing your hands onto your thighs. Let's do three sets of cow and cat, and then we're going to push ourselves up into a chair. So sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, push your belly forwards. Lift up your chin into your cow. Exhale, round out your back into your cat. Inhale, open into your cow. Exhale, round out into your cat. One more time, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. And inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Good, we're just gonna lean forwards a little bit, pressing in our feet into the ground, pressing our hands into the ground, pushing up, and then coming into a chair. So just stay here for a moment. Just notice how this feels. And then when you're ready, push yourself all the way up. And let's give ourselves a nice little stretch. Bring our arms all the way up. Let's clasp the hands and then push the palms up. So lifting up through the palms, trying to touch your ceiling at the same time as rooting down with your feet. Lengthen through the sides of your body. One more big breath in here. And then exhale, release the arms and bring them all the way down. Good. And let's just shake out a little bit more. Shake, 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 shake. Okay. So get your chair ready so that it's there if you need it. Okay. So just maybe bring it into onto the, probably the side is probably the best because we're gonna go into a warrior pose. And we're gonna slide our right leg back. Actually, I'm gonna show you from this direction just so everyone can see me. So your left foot is forwards, your right leg is back, and your right leg is 90 degrees to your left foot, okay? And you can decide how much space you wanna have between these, these feet. So normally the left foot, the left heel, would if you brought your feet together it would come right into the arch of your foot so you're just going to slide those feet away from each other and you're going to bend into that left leg okay you can hold on if you need to so this is your feet okay and then you're going to bring your arms out reaching your left arm forwards and your right arm back and again anytime you need to grab hold of your chair please do so just have your chair or, or a wall or something where you need it to be. And root down equally through both feet. Okay, hold it here. Take a moment, just feeling your arms, your arms floating in the air. And we're going to bring the arms down. And we're going to lift them up. So as we lift them up, we're going to straighten both legs. And we're just going to float through here. Exhale, bring the arms down, bend into the knee. Inhale, lift up, straighten that front leg. And exhale, bring the arms down, bend into the knee. We'll do that a couple more times. Just allowing the arms to float up, straighten the front knee, and float the arms all the way back down, bend into the knee. One more time. Float the arms up. 
and float the arms all the way back down, bending into the knee. And then bring the hands, arms out. So we're back to our warrior two. Now hold it here. And then bring the arms down. Bring them on towards your waist. So relax through the shoulders. You're still kind of looking over that left foot. Shoulders are soft. If you want to hold on to the chair at any time, you, you can. Hold it here. And then we're just going to tilt ourselves backwards a little bit. And then come back to center, tilt ourselves forwards a little bit. Not too much. Come back to center, tilt ourselves back. Come back to center, tilt ourselves forwards. Come back to center. And then bring ourselves back up. Reach the arms all the way back out again. Back to our warrior two. And then bring the arms down. You know, hold on to the chair if you need to. We're going to take a step forwards. Coming back into our mountain pose. So take a moment there. Turn around. Boy, adjusting camera things. My goodness. Okay. So we're going to do the other side this time. So the right foot is going to come forwards. Left foot is going to come back. 90 degree angle. Okay, you can decide how much space you want between both feet. You're going to bend into that right knee. So root firmly down between both feet first. You can hold on to the chair for this, just trying to get yourself stationary and stable. Equal weight between both feet. And then when you feel like you, you feel stable and your body's right in between, you're not going to tip or anything, then you can reach those arms out. Okay, soften through your shoulders, your right arm is reaching out. Try to keep that right knee right over top of your ankle and equal weight. And just feel your arms floating here. And you're looking over that right hand. If you need to bring your hand down, if you feel wobbly, you can do so. Okay. And then we're going to start to float. So we're going to exhale. We're going to float the arms down. And then float the arms up. And we're going to straighten that front leg. Float the arms back all the way back down. Bend into the knee. Float the arms up. Straighten the leg. Reach up. The arms are really soft. We're not forcing them. We have a bend in the elbows. Float the arms down, bend into the knee. Float the arms up. Reach up. Noticing all the sensations you're getting from this because there's a lot. I'm floating them down, bending into the knee. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lift up. And float the arms back down. We've got one more to do. Float up. Reach up. You can even look up if you find when to challenge yourself. And then float the arms all the way back down. And then bring the arms halfway so we're in warrior two. Hold again here. I'm trying to keep the arms reaching away from your body. Okay. And then let's bring the hands down onto your, onto your waist. Or if you want to hold on to the chair, you can do so. We're just going to tip ourselves back a little bit. So make sure you're rooting firmly down through both feet. And we're just going to tip ourselves back just a little bit. Come back to center. And then tip ourselves forward just a little bit. And then come back to center. And then again, reach those arms out. Hold it here. And then bring the arms down and take a step forwards. Hold on to the chair if you need to. And then just shake it out. Okay. Then we're going to have the chair in front of us. Make sure the chair is in front of you. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, so we're just gonna gently hold on to the chair. Hopefully everyone has a high chair back so that you feel very supported, it's not too low. Okay, so rooting down through both feet and standing up, very, very tall. Okay, so we're gonna press into our toes and we're gonna lift up our heels, the knees are bent. Then bring the heels down, bend into the knees, and almost come into like a chair pose. So bending into the knees, bringing your bottom back behind you. So your hips are back. Standing up again, inhale, and then lift up the heels. Exhale, bring the heels down, bend into the knees, bringing those hips back. Try to keep your back as lengthened as possible. Try not to hunch over, okay? So inhale, coming back up again and coming down onto your toes. Exhale, bring the heels down and come back into a chair. Hips go back. Two more times. Inhale, lift, come up. Maybe we can pause here for a moment. And then exhale, come all the way back down, bend into the knees, hips go back. Maybe we can pause here for a moment. And one more time, come all the way back up. Let's pause again, see if we can stay here for a moment. Maybe we can release one hand. Maybe we can release two hands. Bring the hands back down. Bring the heels down, bend into the knees, and bring those hips back. Let's pause here for a moment. Maybe we can let go of one hand. Maybe we can let go of two hands. Hold it here. Pull back onto the chair and then bring yourself all the way back up. Take a moment here. Take a few breaths. Notice what you notice. Okay, and then we're gonna go into our, uh, our supported downward dog. So we're gonna turn the chair around. <clears throat> So you're about maybe a foot, maybe a little bit further away. We can always walk the feet back. So we're gonna inhale, bring the arms all the way up. And then exhale, reach yourself forwards, bend into your knees and grab hold of your seat. Hold the seat. Yeah, and then you're gonna walk those feet back. Keep nice, Bend in your knees, walk the feet back for as long as you, as you feel comfortable. Hold onto your chair, but don't grip it so hard that, you, that your hands um, go numb. Just a nice, you're just supporting yourself with the chair. Reach your hips back, lengthen through your back. This should feel really good in your back, hopefully. And that feels like a nice gentle stretch. Allow your head just to fall between your arms. So you're not looking up, you're not looking, bringing your chin towards your chest, the neck is long. You can have as much of a bend in your knees and your elbows as you like. We'll just take a few breaths here. If you feel like it, maybe you can straighten one leg and then the other leg, there's gonna be a lot more sensation going through the back of your legs if you do this. So it depends on if you want that type of sensation. It doesn't feel bad, it just, it just feels, it just feels. And then we can just stay here. You can also have your heels lifted if that feels better in your body. Take one more breath. And then we'll slowly walk the feet towards the chair. And this is coming into our, almost like a halfway lift. Then we're gonna push into the feet, bend into the knees a little bit, push away from the chair and lift ourselves all the way up. Go slow, you don't wanna get dizzy. Bring your arms all the way up above our heads. Reach as high as you can, wiggle your fingers, and then bring your hands through towards your heart. And then down by your side. There. Take a moment here. And then we're gonna come and sit back onto our chairs. So go ahead and sit down onto your chair. And grab your strap again. Okay. 
So this time we're going to use the strap behind us. So grab the strap with your right hand and I'm going to turn around so you can see. So it's, you're going to flip that strap over your right shoulder with your right hand and then you're going to take your left hand and you're going to grab it. So give a lot of space here, okay? So this is called cow face pose because of Supposedly, we look like a cow's face. I don't know. <laughs> Supposedly, this, that's what it is. So, we got your right elbow lifting up and the left elbow pointing down. And there should be a lot of space here. Now, sit up nice and tall. And you might just want to stay here. And this feels really good. And this feels like you're opening up to your chest. And that feels great. And if you want to go maybe a little bit further, you just have to gently walk your fingers towards each other. And you'll know, your body will tell you when enough is enough. So just walk the hands towards each other as much as you're comfortable doing, and then just stay there. We're not trying to force anything. We want to keep the head lifted and centered. We don't want to twist it around or coming down. So you decide where you want to be. Root down through your feet and your seat. Lengthen through your spine. Soften through your shoulders. This should not be a strain. You should be able to breathe through it. If it's not, then ease off. Move the hands away from each other. We're going to stay here for two more breaths. This is opening up through the armpit on the right side, opening up through your chest. Trying to smile if you can. Relax your faces. Okay, and then on your next breath, you can start to release the arms. Release the arms, bring the arms down, and then you can give yourself a little hug. So maybe bring the right arm on top, hug, and just bring your chin down towards your chest. And that'll open up your back again. And then bring yourself back to center and release the arms. This is really, really good for spine health. So and it's gonna help to prevent any um, bumps and lumps that come in between the shoulders like Dowager's hump or um, kyphosis. Okay, so we're gonna do the other side. So you're gonna take your strap again or your slipper or whatever you got and flip it over on your left shoulder. And your right arm's gonna come behind you and see if you can grab hold of that strap or whatever. And you should have a lot of space to begin with. So just easing yourself into it. So your left elbow's up and the right elbow's down. Okay, so root down through your feet in your seat, sitting up nice and tall. And your head is erect, your neck is long. Okay, and then when you feel somewhat okay here and you want to go a little further, then start to walk your hands. Again, try not to force it. Just walk in the hands. And then your body will tell you when to stop. Enough is, will be enough. And then you just stay there. It shouldn't be so overpowering that you're going, oh. It should be that you feel some sensations, you feel some opening happening, and then that will be enough. We're just going to stay here and breathe. Just feeling an opening in the shoulders, through the chest. Let's take two more breaths. Okay, and then gently release. Gently, gently, gently. You can bring the strap and throw it down on the ground. And just take a moment here and then give yourself a hug. So the left arm is going to come on top. Hug your body and bring your chin down. Soften through your shoulders. And then take a moment here. And then bring your head up and release. And then just stay here for a moment. Okay. Let's do two more sets of cow and cat. And then we're going to go into a sabasana. So bring your hands onto your thighs. And open up through the chest. 
and round yourself out into your cat. Inhale, open up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, round out again. And then inhale, come back to center. Okay, I'm gonna walk the feet away from each other as wide as you can and then walk them close in again and one more time walk the feet away from each other and then walk them close in again okay so not too close okay hold on to the chair maybe inch yourself up to the edge of your chair a little bit hold on to your the back of your chair or the seat of your chair and we're just going to move the knees in a windshield wiping way okay so just a gentle little twist if you want to move the rest of your body as you do so maybe in the same direction or notice maybe in the opposite direction maybe experiment with both and notice which which feels what feels what again try not to label as good or bad it just feels different maybe which one you prefer there's definitely different sensations as going in the same direction or in the opposite direction we'll do that a couple more times And when you've had enough of that, then come back and just stay here for a moment. And then I invite you to go into Savasana. So either on your chair or on the ground, up to you what you'd like to do. So if you want to go on the ground, lie yourself down and get comfortable on your back. And if you'd like to just lean against your chair, stretch out your legs, relax your arms. You can do that. So give yourself permission to relax. <clears throat> so let go of what you don't need. Soften. Find a place where you can just release and rest. And just watch your breath. If your mind decides to go on a little wander anywhere, just finally bring it back when you notice.
peacefully allow your breath to deepen. Begin to bring your awareness back in towards your body. Perhaps maybe doing another body scan. Wiggling fingers and toes, maybe your head gently from side to side. When you feel ready, giving yourself a little stretch. And bringing yourself into a seat. So either on your chair or on the floor, whatever you like. We're just going to do a little breathing exercise. You can have your eyes closed if you want or open. If your eyes are open, just a soft gaze and focus on something. So just come back to your breath. Just notice your breath. Okay, and then you're gonna breathe in. And as you breathe out, you're just gonna kind of wiggle your lips like. So we're gonna do that five times. I'm gonna breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. But going at your own pace. Four more times. Two more times. One more time. And just hold it there. Just breathe and notice. Okay, and then we're going to do our alternate nostril breathing. So the left hand, thumb, and index finger connect, palms face up. The right hand. You can take, let's take our two, our pointer finger and our tall finger. We're going to place them on our third eye. That's our intuition. It's like the eyes in the back of your head. Cover up your right nostril. And your left, your, your ring finger is going to control your left nostril. So just breathe in and out through your left. Cover up your left, breathe in and out through your right. Then cover up your right and start to inhale through the left. Cover the left, exhale the, through the right. Inhale through the right. And then exhale through the left. Inhale left. Exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. Let's do three more times just like that. Taking your time. When you're done, just bring your hands onto your lap. Take a moment to notice. And then take the next few moments just to integrate and reflect on your practice. 
What came up out of your practice? What did you notice about yourself? How you responded to different things? What kind of thoughts were moving around in your head? Did your mind wander at any time? How do you feel physically, mentally, emotionally? And then we'll finish off our practice today. Giving ourselves gratitude, bring your hands towards your heart, bow your head, giving yourselves gratitude. Thanking yourselves for being present for these many, 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 many weeks, all the way from September. If you if you join us on our journey so far, that's that's a lot of time that you've been practicing with me. And that's just beautiful. And hopefully you've all brought this into a, a habit of just practicing maybe just for five minutes a day, maybe just for two minutes, maybe for an hour a day. I don't know. <laughs> whatever you can do but give yourselves gratitude for that what have whatever you've been doing for yourself it's all really really important and give that gratitude and send it out to whomever and wherever you need it to to go and we'll finish with one beautiful own sun together so take a breath in through the nose sigh it out and inhale for one ohm Oh. Namaste. Thank you, everybody.